You only put a million pound in there. You know, on the day of judgment, I, I only know the last word is zillion. I don't know anything beyond that. Zillion times, a zillion times, a zillion to the last number, whatever it may be, if there's one. Yeah, this is what you will find. This is the return that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives. It doesn't give you 1% or 2%. And this is the type of account that you want to open with Allah. Do whatever good you can. Invest here, invest there. You will not be disappointed. Now, the, the amal that will help you in the next life, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Abdullah bin Mas'ud, Man qara'a tabaraka alladhi bayadihi al-mulk, Kulla laylatin mana'a Allah biha min azab al-qabr. Whoever reads surah mulk every night, Hopefully Allah will protect him from the punishment of the grave. Now who can't read Surah Mul? You know, 29th Juz, the first Surah, it's four sides long. Four sides. How long will it take you to memorize four sides? You know, even the guy that's got no brain, he'll memorize it. Why? Allah made the Quran easy and he's made it so that he can be memorized. This is why kids at the age of five, seven, eight, nine can't even spend, uh, speak their mother tongues but they have the entire Quran inside their heart. Top end my young friends. MashaAllah, you Londoners, you guys have got degrees. Alhamdulillah. Bachelors and masters and PhDs. You're educated people. The whole world talks about the city of London and the people of London. So Allah has blessed you. How long will it take you to memorize four sides? Two weeks? Tell, okay, let's say you're lining a line a day, yeah, and it takes you a month. Everyone can do it. And you know what? If it's going to help you so much that whatever I've mentioned today is going to protect you from that, come on, guys. Don't you think you've got a deal and a half? Indeed. In one hadith, Ibn Abbas Tirmizi, a companion of Rasulullah, he set up a tent. He set up a grave and he didn't know it was the grave. Now, all of a sudden, whilst he's inside the tent, he can actually hear somebody inside the grave and he's reading Surah Al-Mulk. So he was shocked. And he related this to our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Rasulullah, I set up my tent. Didn't know he was a grave. I set up my tent on a grave. All of a sudden, I could hear somebody reading Surah Al-Mulk. So Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam confirmed, indeed, He al-Munjiya, He al-Munjiya, tunjihi min adhab al-Qabr. That Surah is the protector and it will protect him from the punishment of the grave. Balkin a hadith with Ibn Asakir is related. A weak hadith on the authority of Anas. A man died, and the only thing that he knew was Surah Al Mulk. So, you know, the reason I'm relating this, you know, people, that, there are many guys that don't know how to read the Quran. Yeah, this guy only knew Surah Al Mulk. Only Surah Al Mulk. Now he's died, he's in inside his grave, and Allah sent the angels to punish him. The angel of punishment comes inside his grave. The angel of punishment comes, Surah Al Mulk is also there and is standing between him and the punishment. So the angel says, move out of the way. You're, the, you're from the book of Allah and I don't want to harm you, but I haven't got a choice. Allah has told me to punish him. If you want to intercede and protect him, then go ask the Lord of the Arshan Kursi. The surah will go to the Almighty Allah and say, oh Allah, you know this servant of yours, out of your entire book, he would intend for me and he would come and recite me. Oh Allah, are you going to punish him today with the fire whilst I'm inside his heart? And if you're going to do this, oh Allah, then I want you to remove me from your book. Allah is the Arhamul Rahimin, the Akramul Akramin, the Ajwadul Ajwadin. He needs excuses, my young friends, to give you paradise. Will you give him that excuse? You know, every time you do a deed, let this thought come, come, come cross your mind. You know what? Maybe this is the one. And I swear by Allah, you will do many good deeds. And every time you sin, let this thought cross your mind. You know what? Maybe this is the one as a result of which Allah will send me to Jahannam. And you know what? You won't commit any sin. When you do good, let the thought cross your mind. Maybe this is the one that will Allah will like and He will give me paradise. And when you wrong, let this thought cross your mind. Maybe this is the one that He will hold me to account for and you will never sin. So the, the, the surah will say, oh Allah, take me out from your book. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, it seems that you've become angry. The surah will say, oh Allah, do I have the right to become angry? He would recite me and you're punishing Him. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was saying, your intercession has been accepted. You do with him as you please. This very surah, four sides. You're learning a line a day, my young friends. Topen, it'll take you a month or two. Topen comes to his rescue, saves him from the punishment of the grave, will come, place his mouth on his mouth and say, Marhaban bihaz al fam, forubama ma'ani. Marhaban bihaz al sadr, forubama wa'ani. Marhaban bihatain al qadamatain, forubama kamatri. Marhaban bihaz al fam, forubama talani. Okay, what to say of this mouth that would recite me? What to say of this heart that, would, that had memorized me? And what to say of these feet that would stand with me in prayer and recite me inside prayer? And thereafter, the surah will stay with him inside his grave so that he doesn't become afraid. You're gonna get your money's worth, guys. This is something that every one of us can do.